Hey, welcome to RV Squared, I'm Steve Vance. Today I'm gonna to do something unusual, I'm gonna do an unboxing. Most of you know that I really like the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone pack set, and it's really a great microphone. I don't have a lot of complaints with it. However, I'm also a real big DJI fan, and when DJI came out with their microphone pack, um, I saw the preliminary report and offering a few months back, and I looked at the specs and the design, and I was really intrigued with a couple actual things on it that I think is a big improvement of the DJI. Number one is what I really liked was the idea that it had the uh, wireless charging case along with it, amongst other things. So uh, I pre-ordered it from B&H Photo and it took months to get. Um, it just came in today, which is a little bit later than what they had normally expected, which was like the beginning of March. But um, it's got a long 250 meter transmission range, it's dual channel, um, has 14 hours of um, memory on board, and it also has a 15 hour battery life. So it's really uh, kind of has some really unique features on it and I want to get to it. So I'm going to open it up for you. Um, not that you guys need to see another unboxing, but I just figured, hey, you know what? If it's that rare to find these out there, you might as well enjoy the experience of the, of the unboxing. And then as I get to use this in the next few weeks, I'll hopefully um, get a good feel of how well it works because that's the bottom line, right? All right, let's get down to it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Charging case, Van Nuys, Van Nuys. Uh, Dead Cat, very similar, if not identical, to what goes on the road. Okay, actually it does look like a dead cat, it looks more like a dead skunk. Um, USB-C, big fan of USB-C, kind of like the road. And another big thing was the patch cords. Now this is interesting. They, like the road, have a bendable patch cord that goes on the camera. So you can kind of tuck it out of the way. By virtue of bending it, it'll stay in place. So it is nice. Seems like a very minor thing, but it is nice when you're plugging it into the camera to not have these cords uh, flopping around, if nothing else, creating a sound problem. And the usual safety guidelines that kind of go straight in the trash. So this is it. There's nothing else in the box. Pretty compact and pretty weighty as well. Just like Apple-esque stuff, they gotta wrap it in a skin, which is very cool. Very nice quality case, uh, super heavy. So you can tell that that thing has a, a battery built into it. Now this is the charging port for the case, which I think is a really big boon. You can do a quick charge out in the field somewhere. And here is the actual pack. Now what's interesting too, I noticed on their demo, was how this pack opens up and turns the batteries on, which is pretty doggone cool. You got a fuel tank meter here, and it's really nice because it has a really good bright display. But look, check this out. It has the actual hours left on the batteries. And that's really nice. Okay, so here you go. Look at the difference. Now, granted, the roads are the same profile for the receivers and the transmitters, whereas this, okay, <laughs> look at that. See? Cute little clip on here for the receiver, or you can just stick that receiver somewhere else. And there's the microphone. And pretty much the same idea. You got the microphone port. You can stick the uh, skunk on the top of it. And it has a, the port, which is similar to that. And then the function buttons. And then the quick charging port on the bottom. And a nice power switch. And then a USB on the side. So I actually like that. And it's got a good texture. So really, really nice design. So this is where it's really going to set apart from the, the herd. Look at that. You see what that is? Here's what I think is really super cool. Okay, here's the reason why this clip is removable. Because guess what? 
you're going to stick this in. There's an arrow to indicate which direction. I haven't read the manual, go figure. And you slide this in and guess what happens now? You got it. Look at this. You've now got a wireless transmitter for your iPhone. And that's what I think is super cool, super exciting. And for those who don't have a iPhone, they give you a USB-C to do the same thing. And you can plug into your USB-C compatible phone. So that is really, really cool. And what was a big, big sell point for me. They also have on the back of this, you can tell, so they got a superpower magnet. So you can really quickly and easily go right in behind your shirt and We'll just demonstrate it with this. Boom, look at that. Great, great set of features. I'm excited to use this. Obviously, how it sounds is gonna be the, the biggest thing, but I'll tell you what, right out of the box, I am super impressed, and they've even gone so far as to put little rubber feet on here to keep it stable and so it doesn't mar a uh, nice surface that it's on. I'm anxious to get started. I'm really kind of curious especially to see how well this works on the iPhone. Because as most of you know, it's been a real hot mess over the years. These wireless packs have almost always caused some type of a lip sync problem, some type of a delay. And the only way you've been able to get rid of that delay is to have a hardwired microphone set into the actual iPhone, which of course for <laughs> anything other than a selfie or a, you know, a vlog type situation is completely useless. If your talent's gonna be off camera and you need to film them at a distance, having a wired mic is just out of the question. So this is really neat. So I hope you guys actually um, are able to get your hands on one. But in the meantime, I'm glad to get mine. So that's it. Stay tuned and we'll see how well it works. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.